Hello everyone. All of you take out your English 1 book semester 2 and take out lesson number 2 degree stone. Now let's see what is there in this lesson. One fine day little Amanda brings a grey stone home kicking it all the way from the school gate. She kicks it till the doorstep and goes in to tell her mother about school that day. That means when Amanda was coming back from her school she saw a stone lying near the school gate and she kicked it here and there and finally it comes to their home. The stone lay by the doormat and stared around. So where was the stone lying? The stone was lying by the doormat. For years it had been lying in the roads, kicked here and there. It had been broken off a cliff by a roadman. Now the writer is telling you that for many years the stone was lying on the road and it was kicked by many people from here to there. But finally, today Amanda took the stone to her, to her house. Now let's see. The stone had wanted to go to school or to see the inside of the house. But the doors were always shut. It had never been as close to a door as this. Now what is the stone is trying to tell you? That the stone, as the stone used to lie on the roadside, the stone wants to see what is inside the school, how the people stay inside the house, okay, but it never happened, okay, but each and every time the doors are closed and usually the stone used to lie outside. Now, put the door open, Amanda said the voice. Amanda stepped outside, picked up the stone and put it inside the house against the door. Now what happened? As Amanda kicked the stone here and there, it finally came to her house. But it was lying outside the house. Now all of a sudden a voice came out and said, prop the door open. Prop the door open means place something against the door to keep it open. In short, we can say generally to keep the door open what do we use we use a door stopper okay so what Amanda did was that Amanda picked up the stone and put it inside the house against the door the stone was actually inside the house this is a real life it thought now what happened the stone finally came inside the house and the stone thought that this is the real life it pushed hard and kept the door open while Amanda's mother went out and soon returned with a pile of clothes. Now stone, that, that particular stone is inside the house, okay? And the stone was watching everything. Now the stone was trying hard to keep the door open, okay? And at that time, Amanda's mother, she went out and returned with a pile of clothes. Then someone closed the door and it was safe inside. Now what happened? Someone closed the door. That means someone removed the stone okay, and closed the door. And the stone was safe inside the house. It sat in a corner listening to the sounds and watching the sights inside the house. Now as it was the dream of the stone that the stone wants to see what goes inside the house or what goes inside the schoolroom. Now, actually this was happening in that house. The stone was lying in the corner and the stone was listening to the sounds and watching the sights inside the house. Okay, it watched the cat and the dog and the baby in the cradle. Now, what was happening? The stone that was lying inside the house was able to see and hear what was going on inside the house. The stone was listening to different types of sounds, maybe the talking of the people or the television sound or the radio sound, different types of sound the stone was hearing and the stone as well as watching different sights inside the house. That means uh, you can see the dog and cat, okay, that was lying, then the baby in the cradle, okay, and when everyone had gone to sleep, then what happened? The lights were put out and it listened to the voices which was heard only in the night. 
we can see you can see in the picture that there is a big clock with a pendulum now when you can observe that thing at your home also kids like when the house is silent no sound is coming out what happen at that time you know the clock sound comes very clearly tick tock isn't it just like that the stone is hearing everything as soon as the light goes out or put off the stone was listening to different sounds which usually we used to hear during the night time okay it listen to the mice scampering now what were the sounds that the stone was hearing okay scampering means running with small steps okay it listened to the mice scampering then the grandfather clock going tick tock as i said you then the table grunting and the chairs squeaking now see what were the sounds that the stone was hearing it was hearing or it was listening to the mouse scampering that means small small mouses running here and there okay then comes grandfather's clock that was going tick tock and then the table grunting that means small small noise making by the furniture then all the sounds were coming out they said that they will throw you out okay that means all the sounds that was also observing the stone lying there they said that they will throw you out they means amanda or amanda's mother okay then the stone replied but i don't want to go replied the stone i have been waiting for this for thousands of years and i want a little comfort in my old age what shall i do that means the stone is saying that i have been lying for such a long time outside the hole outside the house okay and i just want some comfort i don't want to go out i don't want to if you say the stone is personifying okay that the stone doesn't want to go out and stay outside the stone wants to stay inside the house and feel some comfort disguise yourself they said so disguise yourself means to change the way you look so that nobody knows who or what you are okay now what are the different suggestions that was given to them so the mice dragged amanda's velvet cap now what was the mice doing the mice dragged amanda's what type of cap it was a velvet cap okay and pulled it over the stone okay on the top of the stone then all of a sudden what happened the scarf fell down from behind the door and wrapped itself around the stone so all the things are helping the stone so that the stone stays inside the house and all of a sudden what happened amanda's boots moved in front of it and what was that the amanda's boot was standing in front of the stone so that nobody can see the stone lying there all day and night the stone hid there and the next morning a broom dragged it into the light so the night went on and all of a sudden what happened next morning what happened you know a broom broom means jharu okay the broom dragged it into the light oh what's a stone doing here asks amanda's mother now mother saw the stone okay and she was asking like what's a stone doing here a pathot we get ki kori ase then amanda out of excitement what she said it's the door stop okay how proud the stone felt it was the first time it had a name usually we don't name a stone isn't it but on that day amanda said that it is a door stop and hearing that name the stone felt very proud amanda's father picked up the stone now amanda's father came okay and he, what he did he picked up the stone he was about to fling it out fling means to throw it out but he changed his mind he examined the stone and he gave it a tap with a hammer hammer means haturi a few pieces of the stone chipped off okoman okoman pathor pathor to pa er khai gol okay what are you doing father asked amanda as she stared up at him see here this is a fossil fossil means a part of a plant or an animal that lived thousands of years okay and usually got 
stuck into a rock or on or on a stone inside the stone was a fern fern is a leaves like feathers with no flowers dekiya nisena perfect and beautiful the tiny leaves were as clear as it had been pressed into the stone that same day father was examining the stone okay and he was saying that the fern is lying in that stone in such a way as if it has been pressed to the itself the place for this is on the mantel piece said amanda's father that means the stone was so beautiful they decided to keep it on the mantel piece and from then onwards whoever visits their house they used to give it to the visitors and show them how the stone was beautiful so this is all about this lesson about the gray stone okay so kids go through this lesson learn the word meanings and try to understand what is given in this lesson thank you